Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am at my mom's house and I am doing a surprise makeover on her front porch. She knows I'm here doing something but not really sure what I'm up to. So I'm gonna be working on her front porch, making it all fall decked out. I have so much stuff. Check out all the things that I brought over here. Everything I picked up was really traditional colors. So I think this is gonna be a good contrast to my front porch for you guys. So we're gonna deck her whole front porch out and then at the end, I'm gonna bring her out and surprise her. So I'm so excited to see her reaction. Along the way, of course, I'm gonna be giving you my tips for decorating your front porch on a budget. The first thing I'm gonna start off with is her wreath. She currently has a wreath on her door, but I wanted a more traditional wreath that went with our decor. I actually made this wreath a few, I would say about a month ago in a wreath video, and I just added some pumpkins to it so it had more of a red look because I'm going more oranges and reds and and kind of like that burnt color and so I wanted to make it fit in a little bit more with the decor. So many of you are going to ask about the little wreath holder that my mom has on her door. I know she picked it up on QVC and it's just like a secure magnet because she has a um, glass screen door. So you just put a magnet on both sides and then the wreath hangs on there. So it's really cool if you have like a glass front door. So after putting in the wreath, I wanted to change out her mat. Grab this one from Hobby Lobby. I think Hobby Lobby has some really good deals on front porch mats, so it's definitely a good option. Next, I'm putting in my big pieces because those are the statement pieces on your front porch. If you guys checked out my thrift store haul, I grabbed this wooden chair there and it was only $6. I wanted something that wasn't painted and surprise, surprise, I didn't have any chairs that weren't already painted. Okay, I need a chair for grandma's porch. This might be a good one. It's $12, so it's gonna be $6. So I'm putting that in there and then I also picked up a pot from Habitat for Humanity. The other two pots that I'm putting out are just ones that my mom already had on hand and I went in and I spray painted everything black so that it gave me a really consistent look. I'm also adding a little lantern. I grabbed this for $2 at the thrift store. This is the cart with all the new stuff. I need a lantern. This would be great for outdoor. Four dollars, so it's two bucks. And I spray painted that black as well, and I felt like it just really tied the decor in well. So that's a tip. Use the things that you have around your house. Give it a little spray paint in a consistent color, and then it's going to be more of a cohesive decor. On my chair, I wanted to create more of a decorative feature. So I'm going to be using this little burlap sack. Picked this up at an antique store probably four or five years ago. I think these are so cool. They're just like perfect fall decor. I also have this little bushel sign. I did a wreath with this over the summer. Um, and I just took all the flowers off to use this. These are perfect for the fall as well. And this I grabbed at a garage sale for just a couple of dollars. I'm also going to be adding this tin right here. This is from Hobby Lobby. These little flowers I picked up um, probably a couple of years ago on clearance and they're just, you know, little fall stem, so you could do anything in here. Okay, our next step is going to be flowers. So I grabbed some of these gorgeous mums. They're in that really cool burnt orange color. These are from Walmart, and I got a whole thing of them for $4.84. I picked up three of these to fill in my pot. I also grabbed some of these individual mums. These are around a dollar each at Walmart. They're such a great deal. I just filled them in with some terracotta pots that I had for the summer. I messed up and 
spilt one on the way over here, so I'm gonna have to go vacuum when I leave here, but that's okay. Walmart is also so great with their pumpkins. So I have the large orange pumpkins. Those are $3.98 each. I also have some white pumpkins that are like medium size. These are under $3. And then they also had little gourd pumpkins for $2.98. So I bought a couple packages of those. So those are gonna be perfect to offer those finishing elements. So I know sometimes when you see you know, a big uh, fall setup, you think, oh my goodness, that costs so much money. But really, you know, if you buy the mums and the pumpkins inexpensively, it's really not that much. I was able to do this whole front porch for under $100, probably under $80. I should figure it all out for you. Okay, let's get to decorating. The other thing that I like to do is add in fake pumpkins because when you add them with real pumpkins, you don't really notice that there's some fake pumpkins. So I had my mom give me some of her orange fake pumpkins from around her house. Didn't tell her exactly what I was gonna do with them, but that way I can kind of add those in. So if you have fake pumpkins, don't be afraid to use those with your real ones. All right, you guys, I am finished decorating my mom's front porch. I think it turned out great. I'm gonna go inside and get her and bring her out and do the big reveal. So hopefully she likes it. All right, let me get you. Okay, come up here. <laughs> okay. okay. All right, don't open your eyes yet. Okay, all right. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful! Oh my gosh! Oh, I love it all, but I, I, I really like the, the little lantern. And, oh my gosh, the bushel basket! Oh my gosh! I painted your things black. I don't know. Oh, I like that. Actually, they look better like that. Oh my gosh, and all the little squash and pumpkins. You're welcome. Yeah. They love it. Oh, and the, oh, I didn't even notice the new, um, I could use that. Yeah, you got a new mat. <laughs> I love it. The breeze. It all just, it's a beautiful picture. I love it. Are finished with my mom's front porch I think it was a success she seemed to really like it I love how this turned out I know it's a lot different than my front porch but I love the traditional colors and it just gets me in the mood for fall so let me know what you guys think of this style of video doing these surprise makeovers I'd love to do more in the future leave me a comment and let me know your thoughts if you're new to our channel make sure that you subscribe just hit that red button and then I'll link right here our last DIY so you guys can watch that next and I'll talk to you guys in our next one. Bye.